Why are IT certifications so expensive? People are always saying that IT certifications are just too expensive for them, or it's just a ridiculous price, or they can't afford it, or it's just not worth it, people are greedy, etc., etc., etc. The list goes on, right? And of course, this video is sponsored by good friends over at Cybury.it. If you guys are looking for IT training that can help you gear up for some of these certifications, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Use the coupon code ITCQ50, save 50% off your premium membership. First, we have to understand what the competition is out there. And of course, one of those being colleges, universities. These are the number one competition for certifications. And something we have to understand is the cost. So according to the College Board, the average cost between 2017 and 2018 school year was $34,740 at private colleges, uh, $9,970 for state residents at public colleges, and $25,620 for out-of-state residents attending public universities. So this is, again, just an average. You're going to school from anywhere from maybe two to four to six years, depending on what kind of course you're taking. That's a long time to complete your college degree. Any way you look at it, two years can even be a long time for some people. And of course, what other options do you have? Now there's IT boot camps, uh, there's private institutions, and those range anywhere from a couple hundred dollars a day to maybe two to $11,000. Now there's a wide variety there and there's of course a lot of options out there for boot camps or some type of pr uh, private training institutions. This can be very expensive for people as well. This is even sometimes comparable to going to your local community college and paying the tuition costs there. Boot camps or private institutions will guide you through a process quicker. And ultimately at the end of these anyway, you're gonna end up getting a certification. They somehow rolled it into the price most of the time. So that's just something to keep aware of as well. And of course, let's not forget being self-taught. You can go out and learn many of the skills out there on your own or go through some of the e-learning platforms that are out there, of course. And then what do you have to show for it? If you're not getting a certification, if you're not getting a degree, it's a little bit more difficult to show that you have the skills that you've learned going through whatever training course that you have. So documenting your process, maybe having a website or YouTube videos that show the things that you've done, the things that you're able to accomplish can definitely help. But still at this point, self-taught isn't exactly up to par with a certification or a degree. So it's just a completely different process there as well. So how much do certifications cost? On average, you're looking at $125 all the way up to $2,000. Now, yeah, that could be pricey when you're looking at that $2,000 mark. However, those are more advanced certifications. We're talking about like SAN certifications. Those are definitely a lot more pricey than some of the CompTIA certifications, Cisco certifications, or Microsoft certifications. All of those certifications within CompTIA, Microsoft, or Cisco range anywhere from the $125 to about $500 or so. And then of course, if you're looking at something like a CCIE or CCMP, the price does go up a little bit because there's more exams you have to take. So. I can see where you guys think this is expensive. I can understand that even $125 is expensive for you. I could definitely see where $2,000 is very expensive. That's expensive for me. I wanna put a link in the description below to a article that CBT Nuggets put out, and it lays out a lot of the costs of the different certifications, so make sure you guys check out the link in the description below for that. Now I know what you guys are thinking. You guys are thinking that all of these certification vendors are crooks and they just want your money. But here's the hard truth, guys. A certification, no matter what you're doing with your life, is an investment. And investing in you, yourself, your future, is something that everybody should be doing. So a few hundred dollars for a certification that is going to turn around and either help you get a job or help you advance in your career and always most definitely get you more money, it's a no brainer. A couple hundred dollars to prove you have the skills that it takes on whatever certification you just completed is nothing in the grand scheme of things. And if you think about this, many times getting a certification is almost always going to get you a higher salary. So if you're spending $500 on a certification, you will most definitely see that back in dividends in applying for new jobs or even going to your current employer and saying, hey, look, I'm gonna go ahead and get this certification. Uh, is there anything you do for my salary? Something along those lines, of course, it can definitely help. So now you're but this, but that, but nothing. Here's the facts, guys. A lot of employers out there will actually help you pay for some of the certifications. If an employer isn't willing to help you pay for one of your certifications and they're not willing to invest in you essentially, you're wasting your time being there. There's no point in you being there if they can't invest back into you. 
But what about, no, nothing. There's no buts here, guys. This is the way the IT industry works. Love it or hate it, this is what you have to expect. Having certifications or getting certified is a extremely valuable investment on your part to help you future-proof your career. Get certified and get ahead. It's the truth. It will definitely greatly help you in your career. And I know you're probably still saying, well, it's still too expensive for me. It's an investment. And if you don't know what investing is, I highly suggest you go out and Google and do a search for what is investing and understand that you are putting money forward right now to make more money in the future. This is so extremely important. Studying for certifications can take weeks, can take months, maybe up to a year even. And this is even less time than it would take to go to a college. So you have to really put that into consideration. You could spend a few thousand dollars on college, or you could spend a couple hundred bucks and get certified and still show that you have the skills that it takes to complete a job. Of course, degrees are wonderful if you guys are looking to get in some type of management position or director type of level position or the place that you're absolutely dying to work for requires a degree, then yeah, absolutely go ahead and get a degree if that's what you feel like you need to do. However, many times certifications are more than enough to help you get a job or of course help you advance your career. So what certification are you getting next? Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you guys on what you guys are currently studying for and let me know if the price is an issue for you. If you guys are having a hard time trying to find your way into IT, make sure you check out our IT training course, how to get an entry level job in IT. It will definitely help you walk through many of the steps that it takes to get an entry level job. Link in the description below. And that's all I got for you guys in today's video. Make sure you guys leave a comment, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. As always, Take it easy.